Hey, this is Mary from Kamaj Fiber Arts and the Kamaj School of Fiber Arts. And today I just wanted to show you my interpretation of the photo from the Woolen Fiber Arts page um, because I think it's pretty cool. Okay, first I started with the primary colors of yellow, blue, and red. And then I added a little black and I added a little white. So I used the fundamentals from my online class um, blending the color wheel on a drum carter to blend custom colors and I'm going to show you exactly how those colors turned out. So let me slide those up there. Hopefully this will all fit so you can see it. So here's the first color that I blended. Um, and I will post a picture of the photo so you can see what it looks like. So I pre-blend my fibers to go into my back. So I'm going to cart a bat. That's the second one. And this is the third. So pre-blending fibers lets you make these really custom colors and um, bats that maybe nobody else has. That's what, that's what you want. You wanna be able to stand out in this fiber world by doing something really custom that people can't, I don't wanna say copy, um, maybe say take some inspiration from because you know what happens. I mean, color's color and if it hasn't been done before, I'm sure it was, it just wasn't documented. Let me move, let me see if I can get the camera. Okay, I'm gonna move those up just a little. So it's all been done before. And I took JC Boggs class on woolen and worsted live and that was her first thing. She said, listen, everything's been done before. It doesn't mean that just because you haven't seen it done doesn't mean it hasn't been done. So it's been done somewhere. All right, that's, oh, I got one more color to fit in there. So let's scooch everything up, scooch. And then we've got the black, which is the bottom of the photo. Okay, so these are all custom blended colors only using these colors here. So you can see that you can really get customized and really make some unique color blends by using the color wheel as your guide. And in the class, I show you everything um, you need to be able to do to create things like this. All right, so let me make the bat and I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like. So here is the bat that I carded from those custom colors. Now, this was made using my gradient, my master gradient carding technique. It's another online class that I have, so I'm layering techniques. I'm layering custom colors with the advanced gradient bat technique and it makes it even more unique. More unique. And they, your friends will not know how you did it. <laughs> Only you. And the cool thing is if you keep track of what you're doing you can absolutely create these bats over and over and over again. So I teach you that in the class as well. And once you get the fundamentals and the gist of it, you'll be rocking and rolling. Okay, so here is the unveiling of the bat. All right, let me move my carter and then um, I'll just set this down so we can look at it. So what do you guys think? You think it's pretty good? <laughs> I think it's pretty cool has a lot of different, look at the different color shifts, lots and lots of blending, lots and lots of color shifting. This is really pretty. And I think it looks just like the picture. <laughs> Naturally, I think it does. Uh, so anyway, that is my interpretation of the Wafa 
photo for October and I will see you in the live um, Wafa show October 23rd at 930 where I'm going to show you how to blend sock fiber and then we'll talk about what fibers are good for socks and um, yeah so that's it hey thanks for watching uh, make sure and check out my website kamajfiberarts.com and my Kamaj School of Fiber Arts for all my classes. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.